The health alert for you, it's the battle over red meat. Is it really that bad for us? Dr. Partha Nandy joins us now live with what researchers are now revealing. Please go easy on this one for me, please. <laughs> so when it comes to red meat, uh, I get asked all the time whether it's really healthy or not. At the Nandy household, we often have meatless meals emphasizing veggies and fish. However, red meat has nutritional value. It contains vitamins and minerals like B3 and zinc. It's also high in heme iron, vitamin B6 and selenium. On the flip side, red meat is linked to heart disease, diverticulitis and cancer. Because of this, there's been a drop in how, many, uh, uh, how much meat Americans actually eat over the last four decades, a lot of which I think is a good thing. Yeah, but a lot of people love their red meat. And what's the connection to cancer that you're talking about? Important question. So the World Health Organization published a report back in 2015 that said red meat is probably carcinogenic, which causes cancer. In humans, they looked at over 800 studies and found a 50 gram portion of processed meat eaten daily increases the risk of colon cancer by 18 percent. They found links to increased risk for pancreatic and prostate cancer. So serious stuff there. Okay, so how much red meat should we eat and is there a difference? Is it a leaner cut better than the fattier? Always so? eat less than Curtis, but there are no <laughs> dietary guidelines on how much red meat to really eat. But the American Institute of Cancer Research recommends no more than 18 ounces of cooked red meat every week. So I recommend that when it comes to meat, please enjoy in moderation. So as always, my prescriptions. Number one, choose lean cuts of meat for poultry. Choose white meat with no skin. For beef, choose round chuck, sirloin, and tenderloin. For pork, choose tenderloin and, and loin chops. Uh, also, trim off any visible fat. If you if you buy ground beef in a package, select the highest percentage of lean meat available, at least 90% or higher. Number three, don't char your meat. Please avoid high temperatures as this can also produce carcinogens. And lastly, try different proteins that are not meat-based. There are beans, lentils, soy, eggs, fish, and nuts. All are great meat alternatives. What about red meats uh, linked to heart disease? Absolutely. So heart disease is the number one killer in the U.S. There have been numerous studies linking red meat to bad heart health, but there's also studies that challenge this too. But an unhealthy diet, really high in saturated fat and cholesterol, is well known as a risk factor for heart disease. So in my opinion, your best bet is to eat red meat in moderation. Try a plant-based diet as well. It can be delicious, and there can be many health benefits, benefits associated with it. Got to remember that, that word, moderation. That's exactly right. Thank you so much, Dr. Of Nandy. Course. Got a health concern? Email Dr. Nandy at Dr. Nandy, WXYZ or send, to, send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. Well, an outbreak of moms is causing a big scare in Washington.